name's Orville Johnson, and I'm a contributing writer to Acoustic Guitar Magazine, and I'm here to play the musical example uh, that is in Acoustic Guitar's 20th anniversary lesson on Elizabeth Cotton. Now, she began her career when she was 68 years old and became a key artist in the 1960s folk revival, not just because of her, you know, fantastic and unique guitar style, which I'm going to demonstrate a little snippet of, but also because she was a great songwriter and she wrote probably one of the most enduring songs of the folk revival that we all know, Freight Train. And uh, so I'm going to demonstrate her guitar style in this example. Her, her guitar playing encompassed bits of ragtime, styles, Piedmont blues, uh, dance rhythms, dance tunes, and marches, and she played with a delicate touch and a beautiful sound, and so let me play you the example that is uh, written out in the magazine, and let me take a look, I've got it over here in front of me, uh, and let's give her a go. So that's the example, and so let me just point out a couple of things about it that make it kind of Elizabeth Cotton style. One is that change that I put right in the beginning, the C to the E7, which of course is in Freight Train, and it's in a bunch of her other songs as well. If you explore her catalog, you'll hear that change a bunch, and uh, that's the one, C being the one to the three chord, the E, and then uh, F back to C, and then she plays, uh, or I guess I should say I play, uh, this passage that goes... type of progression there, which is characteristic of a lot of ragtime music. And then, uh, to finish up the piece, I played this run. Which is also typical of her playing to uh, sort of put in spice up her playing with little bass runs that go in between the sections where she's playing the constant alternating bass. Uh, and then at the very end I use one of her classic endings too. Where she uses the open strings just out of the C chord position. She played a lot of songs out of the C position and G. Those were her two probably most common chord positions and key positions that she would use. Um, but that's how this ending goes. Just C chord with a little emphasis on the low string on the root. Then the open fifth. Then sixth string at three and then the open sixth. And then finishing on the root. So, you can see the sheet music that accompanies this example and uh, the article that goes with it in the Acoustic Guitar uh, 20th Anniversary Edition or AcousticGuitar.com online. So, for Acoustic Guitar, this is Orville Johnson.